All right, so welcome back to another episode. Here's what happened. It's been in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and it slowly got colder. Right now, it's 38 degrees. It's a little chilly. You know what that's gonna do to the fish? It's gonna bring them up here to these rocks. Trust me. And I'm gonna throw a jig and I'm gonna catch at least one, maybe more. I don't know that, but I think so. If you're not throwing a jig in the spring, you should consider it. Catches a lot of fish. That's why. Look at how he's hooked. Oh. Got him. There we go. Here we go. That is why I threw it back in there. Oh man. It's gonna be a three pounder all day. Eh, two and a half. Go ahead and turn the scale on, zero it. I'm gonna say two pounds, eight ounces. I know, I'm gonna get you back, hold on. You got two pounds, nine ounces. Two pounds, eight ounces. Good first fish of the day. Would have been the second one, but hey. kind of funny because when I showed up I was like if you're not throwing a jig it's almost a mistake at this time of the year that's why two fish lost one caught one it's all good though hopefully we can get another that was a good bite in that jig too the way the pike hit it that first fish he bit the appendages so he bit both appendages and I waited because I don't always set the hook right when I get a bite. I like to feel the weight of the fish and I waited and he still didn't have it that good. That's what I like about throwing that jig. It's like I keep telling you at this time of the year, a lot of people are throwing moving baits, spinner bait, chatter bait, crank bait, lipless crank bait. Those are all amazing baits that slay fish. But if you want to throw something different that not everybody's throwing, pick up a jig. I know it's going to take some time to get used to. I know at first when you get weeds or you don't know what size to use or what color to pick, it might seem confusing. But this thing right here could be your best friend. Trust me. That thing right there will catch you fish when other baits will not. Not always, but... You know what I mean. You know, and sometimes it's even, it's even as simple as just casting it out there and not doing anything. I mean, I've been hopping it because during pre-spawn, if you cast a bait out and you let it fall for three to five seconds and sit there, especially, well, I was going to say in dirty water, this is, I wouldn't call this dirty. This is 
I don't know, tannic, stained. But anyway, in pre-spawn, you let that bait fall down three to five seconds. If a fish is looking down on it, all right, and you got that jig or that creature bait, and you pop it and it sees it flutter, it's gonna eat it. Sometimes it's just as simple as casting it out there. Sometimes it's just hopping it, dragging it. There's times they like it fast. Like I tell you guys in the in the jig videos, I remember years ago, seven and eight years ago, I was always throwing like a half ounce jig or sometimes a three eighths. I throw a three eighths now, but I only do a half, like I throw a half ounce when the situation calls for it. Now, now that it's spring, like I'll do a quarter ounce or a five sixteenths and that'll usually get it done. But, but that's why I also say like, like you gotta let the situation tell you what kind of jig you need. If you're throwing a jig and you're getting weeds and you're throwing, a, if you're throwing a, a football jig and you're getting weeds or you're throwing a casting jig and you're getting weeds, try a flipping jig, try a finesse jig. It's, it's, it's those little things with jig fishing that help. And I know, and I know people would rather Oh, we'll just throw a Texas rig because it's, you don't have to peg it. A jig will blow their mouth open. Right. That's why I always tell you guys, you adjust the, the size and the, the style of the jig to where you're fishing and why and all that good stuff. But anyway, let's try and catch some more fish. Get this taken off here. Missed a pike and got a bass. You can usually feel it when the trailer's messed up, I bet you it's hanging down below where it should be, and I knew it. Just like that. Then eventually I'll have to put on another one, but it should be good for a couple more casts. See what I mean? I'll make a long cast with the jig, but then the next cast I'll cast right there, and I'll almost vertical jig it, and there'll be a fish there in the pow. I was doing that the other day. Because I would cast it right in front of me, and shake it, there would be a fish. Look at this. Get up here. Another bass on the jig. Look at that. Fat little guy. Go ahead and turn the scale on. I'm gonna say just because of how fat that's two pounds, zero the scale. It's one pound, 14 ounces. Yep, 114, 113. Getting back on my weights. Another bass on the jig. Look at how fat that little fish is, man. Yes. Yeah. In fact, like almost back to back cast. I got an 18 inch uh, large mouth, then like a 19 inch small mouth. And a fatty large. Uh oh. Like over a three pounder. Hey. Another one on the jig, boom. Ate it. Jig just came out. Another nice fish, man. Sitting here having a conversation and hooked one. 
I wasn't going to get a weight, but I'm going to go ahead and say two pounds even. Getting better on my weights. Uh, if you're just now starting to follow the channel, I was really good on my weights, and then I caught that 14-pound carp, and that just threw everything off. I said two pounds. You got one pound, 13 ounces. 112, 113. Getting better. Over here. Yeah, why? What's up? I was throwing a square bill on an angle for the bank. Yeah. And there's, I was catching weed line just maybe about 10, 15 yards out that shuts, shoots out there. Yeah. And I was getting some strikes just coming off the weed bed, so that jig might come in through it. So it this way? Yeah, just almost on the 45. There it is. If they're down there, they'll hit it. <laughs> Wouldn't you laugh if I actually caught it? That would be awesome. <laughs> was it like hard bites like a pike or was it thunk like a bass? Well, that pike was the one that followed it out because then I picked up a piece of weed with the square bill and then he, he took off once I had that on there. So he did not his he did not make contact with the bait. No. He did not Okay, then he'll hit again. Yeah, so he's he's still He's still raring to go. Yeah. <laughs> There's a fish down there. He, he hit it. He bit it and that was it. I just made him mad though, he'll hit again. Oh, you're down there. Look at this. Oh man. <laughs> Told you I made him mad. Another, another rock bass on the jig. That's where he was sitting. Oh man, that was a giant. Oh, talk about getting your heart going. That was totally by accident. I did not mean to do that.